Green tea is a type of tea that is made from Camellia sinensis leaves and buds that have not undergone the same withering and oxidation process used to make oolong teas and black teas. Green tea originated in China, but its production and manufacture has spread to many other countries in Asia. Several varieties of green tea exist, which differ substantially based on the variety of C. sinensis used, growing conditions, horticultural methods, production processing, and time of harvest. Although there has been considerable research on the possible health effects of consuming green tea regularly, there is little evidence that drinking green tea has any effects on health. Topic: History. Tea consumption has its legendary origins in China during the reign of Emperor Shenong. A book written by Liu Yu in 618 to 907 AD, Tang Dynasty, the classic of tea. Simplified Chinese, Cha Jing traditional Chinese, Cha Jing pinyin, Cha Jing, is considered important in green tea history. The Kisa Yojoki Kai Cha Yongshengji Book of Tea, written by Zen priest Ai Sai in 1211, describes how drinking green tea may affect five vital organs, the shapes of tea plants, flowers and leaves, and how to grow and process tea leaves. Topic. Steeping, brewing and serving Steeping, or brewing, is the process of making tea from leaves and hot water, generally using 2 grams ounces of tea per 100 milliliters 3.5 imp Florida Oz, 3.4 U.S. fluid ounces of water H2O or about 1 teaspoon of green tea per 150 milliliters cup. Steeping temperatures range from 61 degrees Celsius (142 degrees Fahrenheit) to 87 degrees Celsius (189 degrees Fahrenheit) and steeping times from 30 seconds to 3 minutes. Generally, lower quality green teas are steeped hotter and longer while higher quality teas are steeped cooler and shorter, but usually multiple times, two to three typically. Higher quality teas like gyokuro use more tea leaves and are steeped multiple times for short durations. Steeping too hot or too long results in the release of excessive amounts of tannins, leading to a bitter, astringent brew, regardless of initial quality. The brew's taste is also affected by the steeping technique. Two important ones are to warm the steeping container beforehand to prevent the tea from immediately cooling down, and to leave the tea leaf in the pot and gradually add more hot water during consumption. Topic: <inaudible> Extracts. <inaudible> <inaudible> Polyphenols found in green tea include epigallocatechin gallate (EGCG), epicatechin gallate, epicatechins, and flavanols, which are under laboratory research for their potential effects in vivo. Other components include three kinds of flavonoids, known as camphorol, quercetin, and myrosetin. Although the mean content of flavonoids and catechins in a cup of green tea is higher than that in the same volume of other food and drink items that are traditionally considered to promote health, 
flavonoids and catechins have no proven biological effect in humans. Consumption of green tea extract is linked to hepatotoxicity and liver failure. Green tea leaves are initially processed by soaking in an alcohol solution, which may be further concentrated to various levels. Byproducts of the process are also packaged and used. Extracts are sold over the counter in liquid, powder, capsule, and tablet forms, and may contain up to 17.4% of their total weight in caffeine, though decaffeinated versions are also available. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Health effects. Regular green tea is 99.9% .9 water, provides 1 calorie per 100 ml serving, is devoid of significant nutrient content table, and contains phytochemicals, such as polyphenols and caffeine. Although numerous claims have been made for the health benefits of green tea, human clinical research has not provided conclusive evidence of any effects. In 2011, a panel of scientists published a report on the claims for health effects at the request of the European Commission. In general, they found that the claims made for green tea were not supported by sufficient scientific evidence. Although green tea may enhance mental alertness due to its caffeine content, there is only weak, inconclusive evidence that regular consumption of green tea affects the risk of cancer or cardiovascular diseases, and there is no evidence that it benefits weight loss. Topic: <coughs> Cancer. <coughs> 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 There is no conclusive evidence that green tea helps to prevent or treat cancer in people. A review of existing studies concluded that while suggestive evidence existed, it did not amount to a clear indication of benefit. Daily consumption of black tea, but not green tea, has been associated with a significant reduction in death from all cancers. The link between green tea consumption and the risk of certain cancers such as stomach cancer and non-melanoma skin cancers is unclear due to to inconsistent or inadequate evidence, green tea interferes with the chemotherapy drug bortezomib and other boronic acid-based proteasome inhibitors, and should be avoided by people taking these medications. Cardiovascular <inaudible> <inaudible> disease <inaudible> Observational studies found a minor correlation between daily consumption of green tea and a 5% lower risk of death from cardiovascular disease. In a 2015 meta-analysis of such observational studies, an increase in one cup of green tea per day was correlated with slightly lower risk of death from cardiovascular causes. Green tea consumption may be correlated with a reduced risk of stroke. Meta-analyses of randomized controlled trials found that green tea consumption for 3 to 6 months may produce small reductions, about 2 to 3 mm Hg each in systolic and diastolic blood pressures. A separate systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials found that consumption of 5 to 6 cups of green tea per day was associated with a small reduction in systolic blood pressure 2 mm of mercury, but did not lead to a significant difference in diastolic blood pressure. Glycemic control 
Green tea consumption lowers fasting blood sugar but in clinical studies the beverage's effect on hemoglobin A1c and fasting insulin levels was inconsistent. Hyperlipidemia Drinking green tea or taking green tea supplements decreases the blood concentration of total cholesterol about 3 to 7 mg per deciliter, LDL cholesterol about 2 mg per deciliter, and does not affect the concentration of HDL cholesterol or triglycerides. A 2013 Cochrane meta-analysis of longer-term randomized controlled trials greater than three months duration concluded that green tea consumption lowers total and LDL cholesterol concentrations in the blood. Topic: <inaudible> Inflammation. <inaudible> <inaudible> A 2015 systematic review and meta-analysis of 11 randomized controlled trials found that green tea consumption was not significantly associated with lower plasma levels of C-reactive protein levels a marker of inflammation. <laughs> Mortality risk In one study, daily consumption of green tea was correlated with a lower risk of death from any cause, an increase of one cup of green tea per day was linked with a 4% lower risk of death from any cause. A separate analysis found that an increase of three cups of tea or green tea per day was associated with a small lower risk of total mortality in Asians and women. <laughs> Weight loss There is no conclusive evidence that green tea aids in weight loss. Topic. Toxicity Moderate, regular, and habitual consumption of green tea is safe, however, there are reports of liver toxicity in humans after consuming high doses 10 to 29 mg per kilogram per day of green tea extract dietary supplements, and high doses may act as a pro-oxidant to damage DNA. Topic. Production In 2013, global production of green tea was approximately 1.7 million tons, with a forecast to double in volume by 2023. As of 2015, China provided 80% of the world's green tea market, leading to its green tea exports rising by 9% annually, while exporting 325,000 tons in 2015. In 2015, the U.S. was the largest importer of Chinese green tea 6, tons, an increase of 10% over 2014, and Britain imported 1,900 tons, 15% more than in 2014. In 2015, Kenya was the largest exporter of black tea in the world, 443,000 tons. Topic: <laughs> Growing, harvesting and processing. Green tea is processed and grown in a variety of ways, depending on the type of green tea desired. As a result of these methods, maximum amounts of polyphenols and volatile organic compounds are retained, affecting aroma and taste. 
the growing conditions can be broken down into two basic types minus those grown in the sun and those grown under the shade. The green tea plants are grown in rows that are pruned to produce shoots in a regular manner, and in general are harvested three times per year. The first flush takes place in late April to early May. The second harvest usually takes place from June through July, and the third picking takes place in late July to early August. Sometimes, there will also be a fourth harvest. It is the first flush in the spring that brings the best quality leaves, with higher prices to match. Green tea is processed using either artisanal or modern methods. Sun drying, basket or charcoal firing, or pan firing are common artisanal methods. Oven drying, tumbling, or steaming are common modern methods. Processed green teas, known as iracha, are stored under low humidity refrigeration in 30 or 60 kg paper bags at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius 32 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. This iracha has yet to be refined at this stage, with a final firing taking place before blending, selection and packaging take place. The leaves in this state will be re-fired throughout the year as they are needed, giving the green teas a longer shelf life and better flavor. The first flush tea of May will readily store in this fashion until the next year's harvest. After this re-drying process, each crude tea will be sifted and graded according to size. Finally, each lot will be blended according to the blending order by the tasters and packed for sale. Topic: <laughs> Import of radioactive Japanese tea. On 17 June 2011, at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France, radioactive cesium of 1,038 becquerels per kilogram was measured in tea leaves imported from Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan as a result of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster on of March, which was more than twice the restricted amount in the European Union of 500 becquerels per kilogram. The government of France announced that they rejected the leaves, which totaled 162 kilograms, 357 pounds. In response, the governor of Shizuoka Prefecture, Heida Kawakatsu, stated, "There is absolutely no problem when they people drink them because it will be diluted to about 10 becquerels per kilogram when they steep them even if the leaves have 1,000 becquerels per kilogram." A statement backed by tests done in Shizuoka. Japanese Minister for Consumer Affairs and Food Safety Renho stated on 3 June 2011 that there are cases in which iracha whole leaves of Japanese green tea are sold as furikake condiments sprinkled on rice and so on and they are eaten as they are, therefore we think that it is important to inspect tea leaves including iracha from the viewpoint of consumer safety. In 2018, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration updated its import status on Japanese products deemed to be contaminated by radionuclides, indicating that tea from the Ibaraki Prefecture had been removed from the list by the Government of Japan in 2015. Green tea by country Topic China 
Loose leaf green tea has been the most popular form of tea in China since at least the Southern Song dynasty. While Chinese green tea was originally steamed, as it still is in Japan, after the early Ming dynasty it has typically been processed by being pan-fired in a dry wok. Other processes employed in China today include oven firing, basket firing, tumble drying and sun drying. Green tea is the most widely produced form of tea in China, with 1.42 million tons grown in 2014. Popular green teas produced in China today include Biluakan produced in Jiangsu. This tea is named after the shape of the leaves, which are curled like snails. Chun Mi known in English by its Cantonese name, and popular outside China. It has a plum-like flavor. Gunpowder tea a tea which is tumble dried so that each leaf is rolled into a small pellet that resembles gunpowder. Wang Xin Maofeng a type of Maofeng tea grown in the microclimate of the Wang Xin mountain range in Anhui province. Maofeng teas are harvested by plucking intact two equal sized leaves and a bud together. Longjing, also known as Dragon Well tea, the English translation of its name. Grown near Hangzhou in Zhejiang Province, Longjing is the most well known pan fired Chinese green tea. Its flavor derives partly from the terroir of the region in which it is produced. Luan melon seed grown in Anhui province. Unlike typical Chinese teas, two leaves are plucked separately from each branch, with no bud and no stems. Harvested later in the season, it has a grassier flavor than typical Chinese green teas. Typing hukui grown in Anhui province. Uses a cultivar with an unusually large leaf. The production process flattens the tea leaves, creating the so-called two knives and a pole shape from the leaves and stem. Xinyang Maojian a type of Maojian tea grown in Xinyang, Henan province. Maojian teas are harvested by plucking a bud and one leaf together. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Japan. Tea seeds were first brought to Japan in the early 9th century by the Buddhist monks Saicho and Kakai. During the Heian period Emperor Saga introduced the practice of drinking tea to the imperial family. The Zen Buddhist priest Isai founder of the Rinzai school of Buddhism, brought tea seeds from China to plant in various places in Japan. Isai advocated that all people, not just Buddhist monks and the elite, drink tea for its health benefits. The oldest tea producing region in Japan is Uji, located near the former capital of Kyoto. It is thought that seeds sent by Isai were planted in Uji, becoming the basis of the tea industry there. Today, Japan's most expensive, premium teas are still grown in Uji. The largest tea producing area today is Shizuoka Prefecture, which accounts for 40% of total Japanese sencha production. Other major tea producing regions include the island of Kyushu and the prefectures of Shiga, Gifu, and Saitama in central Honshu. All commercial tea produced in Japan today is green tea, though for a brief period black tea was also produced in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. 
Japanese tea production is heavily mechanized, and is characterized by the use of modern technology and processes to improve yields and reduce labor. Because of the high cost of labor in Japan, only the highest quality teas are plucked and processed by hand in the traditional fashion. Japanese green teas have a thin, needle like shape and a rich, dark green color. Unlike Chinese teas, most Japanese teas are produced by steaming rather than pan firing. This produces their characteristic color, and creates a sweeter, more grassy flavor. A mechanical rolling, drying process then dries the tea leaves into their final shape. The liquor of steamed Japanese tea tends to be cloudy due to the higher quantity of dissolved solids. Most Japanese teas are blended from leaves grown in different regions, with less emphasis on terroir than in the Chinese market. Because of the limited quantity of tea that can be produced in Japan, the majority of production is dedicated to the premium tea market. Bottled tea and tea-flavored food products usually use lower-grade Japanese-style tea produced in China, although a variety of commercial tea cultivars exist in Japan. The vast majority of Japanese tea is produced using the Yabukita cultivar developed in the 1950s. Popular Japanese green teas include Bancha a lower grade tea plucked from the same bushes used to produce sencha. It has a somewhat bolder flavor, and is plucked each season after sencha production is finished. Genmecha made by combining sencha tea leaves with toasted puffs of rice. Gyokuro grown under shade for three weeks prior to plucking. Gyokuro is one of the most exclusive varieties of tea produced in Japan. The shading technique imparts a sweeter flavor, and produces a particularly rich color thanks to the higher amounts of chlorophyll in the shaded leaf. Gyokuro tea is associated with the Uji region, the first tea growing region in Japan. It is often made using smaller leaf cultivars of the tea plant. Hojicha This type of tea is made by roasting sencha or bancha leaves with kukicha twigs. Kabusecha Similar to gyokuro, kabusecha is shaded for only a week prior to plucking. Its flavor is somewhat between that of gyokuro and normal sencha. Kukicha A blended tea made of sencha leaves and stems. Matcha Like gyokuro, matcha is shaded before plucking. The plucked and processed leaf is called tensha. This product is then ground into a fine powder, which is matcha. Because the tea powder is very perishable, matcha is usually sold in small quantities. It is typically rather expensive. Matcha is the type of tea used in the Japanese tea ceremony. It is prepared by whisking the tea with hot water in a bowl, until the surface is frothy. If the water is too hot, the tea may become overly bitter. Sencha This type of tea is produced throughout the tea season, and is the standard style today, representing 80% of all tea produced in Japan. 90% of sencha is grown from the Yabukita cultivar. Shincha The first early harvest of tea, plucked before the first flush, is called shincha. Shincha is made from the youngest new growth leaves, and is plucked from early April to early May. Shincha typically refers to the early harvest of sencha, but can refer to any type of tea plucked early in the season, before the main harvest. Because of the limited quantities in which it is produced, shincha is highly prized and expensive to obtain.
Topic: Korea. According to record of Gaia cited in memorabilia of the Three Kingdoms, the legendary queen Heo Wang Ok, a princess of the Ayodhya married to King Suro of Gaia, brought the tea plant from India and planted it in Baigwalsan, a mountain in current Changwon. However, it is a widely held view that systematic planting of tea bushes began with the introduction of Chinese tea culture by the Buddhist monks around the 4th century. Amongst some of the earliest Buddhist temples in Korea, Bulgapsa founded in 384, in Yungwang, Buloisa founded in 384, in Naju, and Hwaeomsa founded in Gurie, in 544 claim to be the birthplace of Korean tea culture. Green tea was commonly offered to Buddha, as well as to the spirits of deceased ancestors. Tea culture continued to prosper during the Goryeo dynasty, with the tea offering being a part of the biggest national ceremonies and tea towns were formed around temples. Sone Buddhist manners of ceremony prevailed. During the Joseon dynasty, however, Korean tea culture underwent secularization, along with the Korean culture itself. Korean ancestral rite Jesa, also referred to as cherry chali chali tea rite, has its origin in Darye Dali chali tea rite. The practice of offering tea as simple ancestral rites by the royal family and the aristocracy in Joseon, tea culture of Korea was actively suppressed by the Japanese during the Japanese forced occupation period 1910 to 1945 and the subsequent Korean War 1950 to 1953 made it even harder for the Korean tea tradition to survive. The restoration of the Korean way of tea began in the 1970s, around Desolsa. Commercial production of green tea in South Korea only began in the 1970s. By 2012 the industry was producing 20% as much tea as Taiwan and 3.5% as much as Japan. Green tea is not as popular as coffee or other types of Korean teas in modern South Korea. The annual consumption per capita of green tea in South Korea in 2016 was 0.16 kg pounds, compared to 3.9 kg coffee. Recently however, as the coffee market reached saturation point, South Korean tea production doubled during 2010-2014, as did tea imports during 2009-2015. Despite very high tariff rate 513.6% for green tea, compared to 40% for black tea, 8% for processed, roasted coffee, and 2% for raw coffee beans. Korean green tea can be classified into various types based on several different factors. The most common is the flush, or the time of the year when the leaves are plucked and thus also by leaf size. Ujan Ujan, Ujan Yuchian lit. Pre-rain, or Chanmul Cha, Chiasmulcha lit. First flush tea, is made of hand-picked leaves plucked before Gogu, 20-21 April. The ideal steeping temperature for Ujan tea is 50 degrees Celsius 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Sajak Sajak, Sajag Shi K lit. Thin Sparrow, or Dumul Cha, Dumul Cha lit. Second Flush Tea, is made of hand-picked leaves plucked after Gogu 20 to 21 April but before IPHA 5 to 6 May 
The T is also called jaxol, jaxiol cache lit, sparrow tongue, as the T leaves are plucked when they are about the size of a sparrow's tongue. The ideal steeping temperature for sajak tea is 60 to 70 degrees Celsius (140 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit). Jungjak jungjak, jungjak zhong k lit, medium sparrow, or simul cha, simul cha lit, third flush tea. Is made of leaves plucked after IPHA 5 to 6 May until the mid May. The ideal steeping temperature for jungjak tea is 70 to 80 degrees Celsius (158 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit). Dajak 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 dake lit big sparrow or kunmul cha kutmulcha lit. Final flush tea is made of tea leaves plucked in late May and after. It is usually made into tea bags or used in cooking. The ideal steeping temperature for dajak tea is 80 to 90 degrees Celsius (176 to 194 degrees Fahrenheit). The mode of preparation also differs. IPCHA Yepcha, the synonyms IPCHA, Ipcha lit, leaf tea, and Yepcha, Yeopcha Yicha lit, leaf tea, refer to loose leaf tea, often in contrast to tea in tea bags. As the words mean, leaf tea, they can also be used in contrast to powdered tea. Garucha, malcha, the synonyms garucha, galucha lit, powder tea, and malcha, malcha mocha lit, powder tea, refer to powdered tea. Leaf teas are processed either by roasting or steaming. Diokium cha, bucha cha, roasting is the most common and traditional way of tea processing in Korea. Also translated into pan fried tea, the diokium cha, diokium halit, roasted tea, or bucha cha, bukocha fu chow cha lit, roasted tea. Varieties are richer in flavor. Jungje cha steaming is less popular in Korean green tea processing, but the method is still used in temple cuisine. Tea prepared with steamed tea leaves, called jungje cha, jungjecha jungji cha lit, steamed tea, are more vivid in color. Southern, warmer regions such as Bosung in South Jiala Province, Hadong in South Jongsang Province, and Jeju Island are famous for producing high quality tea leaves. Banya Shabanya Cha, Banyacha Ban Ruo Cha Lit, Prajnya Tea, is one of the most renowned Korean green teas. This steam tea is developed by Buddhist monks in Bosung. The tea is grown on sandy loam near mountains and sea. The word Banya is a Korean transliteration of the Buddhist concept Prajnya. Jungno cha jungno cha, juglocha zulu cha lit, bamboo do tea, is one of the most renowned Korean green teas. The roasted variety of tea is made of tea leaves grown among the bamboo in Gimhai, Hadong, and Jinju in South Jongsang Province. Green tea can be blended with other ingredients. Haya onmi no kanaksha, green tea, blended with haya onmi cha, brown rice tea, is called haya onmi noksha, haya onmi noksha zan mi lu cha lit, brown rice green tea. Riman noksha noksha, green tea, blended with lemon is called riman noksha, lemon noksha lit, lemon green tea. Topic: Other countries. 
In Canada, green tea is defined as a dry-based mixture and the sale of it is regulated by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency CFIA. It is one of the foods for which a standard of identity is specified according to the Food and Drug Regulations. It should contain not less than 33% water soluble extractive determined by official method FO37 which is the determination of water soluble extractive in tea and the total ash should between 4% to 7%. See also